Hey, what is up, Electric Academy? This is episode one. I've been promising it. Sorry it didn't happen last night. Uh, I had a few technical issues. My internet went down, so I couldn't get it up. <laughs> that sounds bad. My internet went down, so I couldn't broadcast. So today, we're gonna be, I'm going to be giving you four tips to my morning routine, why I think they're important, and why I think you guys should uh, consider them too. If, uh, yeah, not if, uh, so here we go. I uh, just for those of you who don't know me, my name is Chad Flynn. I am an electrical instructor as well as an electrical contractor. So I've got my hands in both things. I love teaching, and I have been teaching now for it'll be eight years in this September. I cannot even believe it. Hey Matthew, I can't even believe that uh, it's been that long, but it has been amazing. And like I tell all my students who've had me, that I'll be dragged kicking and screaming from teaching. It's something I'm passionate about. But I also love being an electrician. So. I decided to marry the two things together and start the Electric Academy. I've been running that now for two years, and it's been going pretty good. I've been really enjoying it, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying it too. Um, yeah, so I also teach an entrepreneurship course for trades. So if you're ever interested or have questions about that sort of thing, about how to start up a trades company, I am your man. I also have another page called App to CEO, so you can check that out. I also have a Facebook group. This is going through my Facebook uh, fan page, but there's a Facebook group which I will send the rebroadcast to, so you can check that out there. So let's get started. I had a podcast, or had I have a podcast, and I thought I have a lot of fun with these Facebook lives, and why not kind of marry the two of them together? So I had one more podcast to go in my first season. I promised ten episodes, and I'm at ten episodes as of today. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the audio from this and turn it into a podcast. It's just amazing time we live in. So enough about that. Let's talk about our morning routines and why it's important as electricians and as students. There are electrical apprentices out there. You guys know that it's important, or you should know it's important because there's two scenarios that can happen. Now, if you get up in the morning and you set your alarm to the, as late as possible, you're gonna find that you are darting out of bed, you are running to get your keys and stuff, you're wondering where things are, you're feeling rushed and out of sorts, by the time you get to school or to work, you still feel kind of out of sorts because you haven't had time to get things figured out and you are not loving it. So that's one situation, one scenario. The next scenario could be that the night before you get everything ready, you get your coffee kind of ready to go in the automatic mode. I don't know if some of you know that your coffee maker does have an automatic mode, so you can set it to that. You get your keys found, you get your wallet found, you get your lunch made so that when you get up in the morning, you know where everything is at and you can have a nice leisurely breakfast if you choose, but at least you know where your work stuff is and then when you're going, you're not dashing around. Now, I used to be just so bad for that. I used to be running around the house. I would always lose my keys or not remember where I put them. I would always lose my wallet. I would never have my lunch made. I would just feel absolutely stressed out by the time I left for work and by the time I got to work because traffic is not easy here in the lower mainland of BC, I'd be just as stressed out. So that's where I started coming up with my morning routine and why it's important. So number one, the tip number one, and if you guys are tracking with this, if you can hit a like down in the uh, comment, hit the like button there, that'd be great, or any comment along the way there. Especially, I know some of you guys are gonna be watching the replays, so you can check that out, and you can still give me likes. And I'm gonna put this on YouTube, it's gonna be everywhere. So first thing, and you're gonna notice, I'm gonna be looking at my notes once in a while because I prepared for this, is, your night or your day begins, your morning routine starts the night before. So the first thing I do before I start any night or morning routine is I get it ready the night before. So the night before, I always make my lunch. I always get my coffee ready. I get my backpack ready. So if I'm going to school, I make sure that my laptop's in there. I get it all sorted out. I get my tools ready if I'm going to work. I get those all sorted out. I find my work boots, all that fun stuff. I get my clothes figured out. I generally, I know it sounds a little OCD, but I get them laid out the night before. I find my wallet and my keys the night before. There's nothing worse, and I'm not sure that we can all relate to this, losing your wallet and keys. So you gotta keep at this habit of getting all that stuff ready. If you get all this stuff ready, by the time you get up in the morning, you are good to go, and it's ready to go. Now, my next thing, when I get up in the morning, the first thing I do is I come down the stairs, I grab a big glass of water, because if you think about it, your body has not had any water for eight hours, if you're sleeping eight hours, that's another whole other discussion. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. I have a big glass of water and then I go meditate. And it's summertime right now, so what I do is I go out onto my patio and I just, I set my timer on my phone to 20 minutes and I meditate. Now, 
meditation is not just for monks and it's not just some woo woo frou frou thing. Check it out online. If you check out meditation, you're going to find that there's a lot of scientific studies towards this. If you're not into meditation, but you are a spiritual person, perhaps times of prayer or just times of silence, just take that time to kind of let your brain relax and find itself. I have found, and there's no joke. If you talk to my wife, I've been meditating now for two years. It has been a game changer for me. It totally, totally has changed my life. So if you want to know more about that, you can private message me. I'm not going to get too much into it. But there's lots of studies that show that meditation is not just a woo-woo thing. It does something. It helps out your brain. It's scientifically proven. So I take 20 minutes now. There's lots of apps out there. There's an app that I used. If you're just getting started called Headspace, it gives you, I think it's 10, like 10 free weeks, I believe. I'll have to double check on that. I'll, I'll give you a thing in the comment. 10 free weeks of um, it just guides you through it and teaches you how to do it. And then there's other ones out there as well. Now, meditation is not. Let me just tell you what it is not. It's not a spiritual New Age practice. It is definitely not that. It's not only for the enlightened. It's not really difficult. It's not only for hippies. It is not a waste of time. It is something that it, it is. Meditation is a great way to quiet your mind and gain insight into your thought process. So it's, it's this whole thing of mindfulness and understanding where your thoughts are. It's good for your brain. It has scientifically been proven that it's good for your brain. A lot of successful business people practice this, and it's a good way to get a jump on the day. It just kind of quiets myself and gets me ready to go for the day. So again, I could. there's so much more that I could say about meditation. I'm not going to get into that. Now, it's worth your time. There's some apps that I've used. I used an app called Calm. It's a subscription-based app, so it's something to look into. Headspace is the one that I highly recommend because they've got little videos and stuff like that, and the guy Andy... He's a former monk, Buddhist monk, but he's really down to earth and really easy to understand. Um, Simply Being is another completely free app. That's a great one to test out because it's uh, it's absolutely free. There's this woman that kind of guides you through it and gives us a nice calm voice and it's worth doing. Okay, so that's my first thing I do. I get up, have a glass of water, go down and I meditate for 20 minutes. And again, I would start out maybe five. It's a lot harder than you think trying to let, let your mind run off and get lost in your thoughts when you're just trying to concentrate on your breath way harder than you think. Number two, after, so I get my water, I meditate for 20 minutes. The next thing I do is I journal. And I know that sounds like uh, I'm doing some sort of diary, dear diary thing, but I'm participating in this thing that's called a gratitude journal. So what I do, and it just kind of, it helps me get my mindset right, but I write down, so basically I just do a little free form writing. I just, whatever's on my mind, I do that for a couple minutes. And then I write down, this is what I do. I go three things I'm thankful for. So I spend some time thinking about that and I write those down. Then I write down three goals for my day. Now, whether those are concrete goals or they're more like self-help type goals, that's totally up to you. I do a little bit of both. And then what I do is I write myself a daily affirmation. I know as I'm saying this, it sounds a little woo-woo, especially talking to tradespeople. But honestly, this puts puts things into perspective, especially the thankfulness thing. And then just so you know that, So that's what I do. So it's just three things that I'm thankful for, three goals for the day, and one little thing, an affirmation, like, you know, I'm a great electrician and I'm good at my trade. It just kind of, it pumps yourself up for the day. Then at night, this is part of my night routine, I take that same journal and I write in it three things that happened that day that I was thankful for. So it's the last thing I do before I go to bed. And honestly, it helps me sleep so well because it puts me in a good mindset and a good way of thinking. So that's something I I totally would recommend journaling. Now, it doesn't have to be written. I know some people don't like the idea of writing in a journal, like having to take on a moleskin and write down. There's an app that I use called Day One, and there's a free version of it. I got the paid version that allows me to write on my Mac and my iPad and my iPhone. But you can get free versions of these things. Or you can just write in your notes. Or you can get, if you've got Evernote, you can do it through that. So that's something to consider. I find it's very, very useful. So it's something I would consider or I do, and so I would definitely recommend to you guys. Next is I exercise both my mind and my body. So what I do is, and I get up a little early. I usually get up when I'm working. On Right now I'm off for the summer, but when I'm working, I'm up at around 4.15 and out the door by 7. Um, now that I'm on a summer break, I get up at 5. But anyways, I exercise my mind. I make sure that I make time for at least 30 minutes of physical activity, and that is huge. Because you just, you know, I know we're all working physical jobs. And for those of us going to school, it's easy to get into the, to get that 15 pounds you get over those 10 weeks of school. We all know what I'm talking about. But also, it's just great 
to get your blood going. And even when I'm working on the tools and I do a lot of side jobs and sometimes in the summer projects will last a month or so, then I still get up and I do that run. I go for a run every morning. I'm doing this run cross train thing. It's, uh, it's been working out great. And honestly, you think that it would exhaust you, but it gives me way more energy than you would you could possibly think. And those of you guys that understand or do this sort of thing, like exercise every morning, you know what I mean? It gives you lots more energy than you would think. So definitely do that. Then after my run, I come back and I read for 10 minutes. Or what I do is I set myself 10 pages. I've got to read 10 pages of something every day. So it doesn't take that long when you think about it. 10 pages, 10 minutes, not that bad. If you're not into reading, and I know some of you guys might not be into the reading, maybe listen to a podcast, maybe watch a YouTube video, just do something that's going to kind of build your brain up. Because we all do things where we just let our mind go and it goes to mush. And then this way, by setting up your morning routine, you're getting your brain primed and ready for work. So it's starting to start thinking. That's why I kind of start slow. I start with the meditation. And then I move into my journaling to get my mind working again, kind of thinking. And then I go into the exercise and then I read. And from there on, then I'm ready to hit the day. Then I have my breakfast and I shower and I'm out the door and I'm running off. So that's my morning routine. Now, here's my morning schedule. Just so you know, right now in the summertime, my morning schedule is 5 a.m. My alarm goes off. So I go down the stairs, grab a big glass of water, pound it back. Then at 5.10, I'm outside right now. I am meditating for 20 minutes. At 5.30, I come inside and I journal. So I do my gratitude journal. Then at whatever time after that works out being, I try to get out there for a 30-minute run. I take my dog. Some of you guys have seen the Facebook Lives that I've been posting the past couple days. Grab my dog Molly and we go for a run. I run to a playground. I do a little bit of cross training. Then I continue on my run. It's about 5K run. Then I get home. I get ready for the day. I'll shower. I'll help get the kids out the door for daycare and have breakfast and my days a go. So that's my morning routine. And it, it works for me whether I'm working or not. It sometimes requires getting up a little bit early. So that might be a little bit on the thing. If you're not a morning person, it might be something you want to consider. But uh yeah, so some key points. I've got, I've got this, these notes here, and it's called my super action plan. So be proactive the night before. Make sure you get all your stuff together. Get your lunch ready, your morning coffee ready, get your bags figured out, get your wallet and keys. Those are the two, two main things. Get your wallets and keys. Med- meditate or pray or take some quiet time. So at least five to ten minutes. I would suggest 20. The more I'm trying to push it more and more. I'm up to 20 minutes now. Write in a journal. Again, doesn't have to be much. Just get this app called Day One or use Evernote or use your notes app on your phone. But just three things you're grateful for, three goals you're hoping to accomplish that day, and an affirmation. And then that night, three things that were awesome that day. Then exercise. Make sure you get some sort of exercise in there. It's just such a good, good, healthy thing to do. Then you got to read or listen to your book. You don't have to, but I would suggest read or listen to an ebook or a podcast or watch a YouTube video. And then you're ready to go. Good for the day. So that's my morning routine. This is my first Facebook Live episode, so I'm super excited about this. Hopefully, I'm going to continue on this. I'm going to go for right now. It might not be Thursday. It's going to be Thursday nights for the summer, but then I'm teaching a night course come September, so I'll probably have to move it to Wednesday nights or Tuesday nights. I'll see how you guys are doing with that. I am going to – I wrote an ebook for electrical students – or not electrical students, trade students called Beyond the Tools. I'm going to leave a link to that. There's It goes to a, a site called Gumroad. And it gives a price. It says it's kind of a pay what you want. You guys put in $0 and you can get the PDF. It's like a 30-page thing. It covers this morning routine, but also goes over study tips for tradespeople. And it goes into the money tips for tradespeople. So I'll make sure I link to that in my notes or in the comments below. So look for the Chad Flynn name popping up. And that's basically all I got. So I know I said I was going to do this at 6. I had to do it a little early because today we pumped up our 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 uh, pool we got a pool for the kids and they're absolutely flipped out and there's right now i don't know if you can hear them right now they're outside screaming running around i got a four-year-old i got a three-year-old and i got a 14 year old so they're all having a great time outside so i thought i'd get it done early so i can get outside and have fun with them hopefully you guys are enjoying your summer it's been, i've been having an amazing summer it's uh it's a little smoky here in vancouver right now it's crazy. I feel so bad for the people who are actually up in the interior where the fires are happening. We have a lot of fires going on in the BCM in Canada. So it's something to consider for that. It's uh, it's hazy as F out there. So anyways, thanks for checking in the Facebook Live. Uh, I'll be checking in daily. I keep doing these little morning rants. Check in on those. I've been having some great talks about that. Today I talked about the importance of pre-twisting your wires in a moret. Yesterday I talked about backstabbing a receptacle. So definitely check in. 
Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you're enjoying your summer, and I will see you guys on the flip it flop Stay classy.